The question is to solve for r in terms of f1 and to ignore f2. Now, the first thing you do is just get rid of f2 because it should be ignored. Last thing you should do is get the r2 to the well, r squared to the other side of the equation. So you multiply this by r2 squared, by this by r squared, get f1 r squared is equal to g times m1 times m2. Then you're going to want to bring the f1 to the other side because you want the r to be alone. You would divide by f1, divide by f1, and get r squared is equal to g times m1 times m2 over f1. Then since it's squared, you need to square root both sides. It's going to just be done through this. And again, r is equal to the square root of g